Welcome back. Today, you'll be fighting Griffin Tree and gaining a very interesting weapon. Also, this annoying spider is still set to be I realized that I really, really hate fighting those guys. It feels like half of your hits don't actually connect. But at least they give a lot of detail. A mysterious stone that shines in the dark. A ordinary stone that is just in the other world, it has somehow over time gained different properties in the human world. A strategy that I like using when I'm fighting fetishes is to launch them so that they can block your attack and then counter attack. Also, about the Luminaire, it's actually kind of interesting how a lot of the DMC games has some kind of item that is original from previous world, especially some items that are not previous. You will actually be seeing this in DMC4, Booker Kamesh, and I guess in 5 too. A moving floor and have to hit jackets that are tiny. It's a very interesting decision for the developers to put these two things together. The spikes don't need to a lot. The Colosseum intros the conquerors with the lenses. The Thai hands come to open the door. It feels like a young is your attack on them. Almost fall back down again, that was close. Yeah. And 
when we come outside not only has the ferris spawn back again Fetishes at this point the game has very less health, so I'm wondering if the grenade launcher has anything to do with them. Speaking of the grenade launcher... If you get a good shot on this enemy, it's actually a one hit kill. I was getting pretty consistently, but now they seem to want to go after a lot more. I believe the way that these two doors work is that no matter the one that you enter, the first one will always have the lenses, and the second one will have something else. And now with the worms that I have, I'm actually going to bite a uh, purple worm. And later on, I will save it for the worms. I won't have to wait this long because if you break this wall. You'll find a bunch of breakable outfits that have butt ops on them, as well as a green ore. And a blue orb fragment. Not only that. Oh, I break it before it was able to showcase it. Essentially, there's a tiny little golden pot around here that if you break it give you a lot of wear ups as we just saw so now let me let's see, go here again and buy it Your second half bar looks kind of beautiful at the beginning. You see that? That was a double kill with the Rocko Rocko. I thought it was good. I might actually cut this part out of the video. I'm not that good at them shit like for me. And this one is actually pretty sweet.
Oh, that was actually pretty short. In here, we gain a weapon. But I don't actually like using that much. Nightmare beta. A weapon from the water wall. His powers are unknown. If you don't know what it does, it essentially charges your devil trigger into a really powerful shot that ricochets off enemies. Since it ricochets quite a lot, I actually found that it has mostly the same damage as a grenade launcher. But you have to charge it, it uses a TT, and worst of all, while you're charging it, you can't move. And as you can see, that's a, that is a pretty big problem. That time I got lucky. This weapon is mostly useful if you have a lot of walls that it can ricochet into. Which actually means that in the boss fight of this very mission, it is not actually that good. It is way too open ended. In fact, I like to use Ebony and Ivory for gripping tree. And if you're wondering why this weapon resembles a uh, similarity between one of the bosses, I was actually going to talk about that when we first fight Nightmare. The enemies respawn here, but I don't really get care. Actually, maybe they can help me. Get my health back. Just like that. You can hear a voice inside your mind. Offer a sacrifice to the Colosseum and I will connect the path to the Wheel of Destiny. And Joseph kill a sacrifice shows up. Well, that is unless I mess up somehow. I can't believe I missed most of that. What the hell just hit me? Did he use a big attack that I didn't saw? Most of the time I actually forget that these uh, teleports are up here. But they actually be useful so you can get a long time to get them so that he comes out again. Really fast. Just like that. And I ready on top of him. That was nice. But I believe he will actually come up there once again. Since it's a special, a special touch thing.
you can shoot him down from the ground, but it's actually really risky because the camera won't really help you dodge his attack. Are the platforms hitting him? There we go. Now he'll remain on the ground since I clipped one of his wings. And you come down automatically, so that's nice. Oh, this is actually doing a lot of damage. Back off, Rafi, back off. I can't believe that this is his better attack. It's actually easier to dodge this one than the other one. And just as I say that, I'll get hit twice. I guess Crazy Thoughts is starting to attack me as well. What the hell is that? Jesus, that's surprisingly brutal. So even here. There is always presence of Dante being way stronger than Sparta. And he's only going to get stronger. But I cannot let you live. For I serve my master Mundus. You can't fight with that wound. Mighty is the power of Mundus. Master, grant me one last surge of power. The power to finish him. So when I first watch this cutscene, I feel really bad for this one. Which I think is the common reaction. So much that he did a special thing, I guess you can say, in the 5. You beat him. Maybe it was too easy for you. Mundus. His heinous ways make me sick, killing even his own, like there were nothing. He's the one that took the life of my mother, my brother, Shirley. My mother used to always tell me that my father was a man who fought for You don't actually kill him this game. He had courage and a righteous heart. In the name of my father, I will kill Mundus.
And with that comes the surprisingly sad end of Griffin. Huh, can't believe I got the jump first try. Right? It's actually a pretty tricky one. And as a reward, the king or Avalon shall turn the wheel of destiny and take the story to the beginning land. What does that actually mean? The round plate resembling a destiny repeating cycle. B makes sense since I did have to get Nightmare Beta and I messed up the platform. Speaking of Nightmare, I forgot to fight him right in the next mission. Do I have to buy anything? No. But I will soon. The reward that I was talking about is actually this mission. They just give you a full blurb for free. Oh, that's very nice, especially since I'm about to buy another one. I forgot that you guys spawn yet again. There we go. There's another one. Come here, Russell. There we go. Again, gotta jump away. I can't let those side hit me yet again. What is this noise? Very Resident Evil like, of course. <laughs> and now that we have the real destiny. The real destiny shall guide you to the land of the beginning. Oh, so that one was just a weird way to say go back to the beginning of the game. Okay. It's a good thing that we pick up looking there. Imagine if you have to navigate the castle while completely in the dark. Actually, is this where we get introduced to that enemy? I believe so actually. Huh. Forgot that it was so soon. Since you don't fight him a bunch. I believe this first one, I will actually fight them with Alistair. 
just to see the secrets. You'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. No, a bad enemy. Whatever I'm going to do. Thanks, Camille. Very appreciated. Getting hit with a gutsin attack is always so cool, right? Come on, you asshole. Just come down and turn it to me already. Okay, don't teach anyone to jump at that time. Oh, that was pathetic. Let's see what's happening when you fight multiple of them. So, not only can they copy you, they copy both your Alistair and Ifrit moveset. Actually, let me read the files really quick. The magic circles absorb the evil energy from the lightning to release a powerful electronic attack. When this attack is released, a wise color measure is to concentrate on dodging. Is this talking about the platform or the red thing that it can summon? Plasma, that was the name for. Electrical is received to transform the shape of the plants. The fire blade of this is in the way the sun points in the tribunal. I did it to copy and to throw the shame to their opponents. Not only do they copy the shape, but they can also have the abilities to imitate the behavior as well and action as well. The separate without warning. How the separate is unknown, even after separation they have identical abilities and fully recover energy. Well that's fair. The only way to stop them from multiplying is to eliminate it quickly. Not even give me what I'm having right here. Oh, at least I can use it for him. He 
team it is. Hopefully with Inferno I can take care of this quickly. I didn't mean to press that. There's a strong force of evil coming from the puddle of water. There are voices in my head saying something. One who knows who knocks on the gates of the other wall shall borrow the strength from the blue stone. The door to the wonder world is a puddle that shoots a bunch of jelly. How intimidating. Camera, come on, help me off a bit. Oh, there we go. That's the damage I want. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. And although shooting him doesn't do damage, you get a lot of DT from it. Come on, Dutty, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it! That was close. So this boss has like a quadrillion of attacks and mechanics. First of all, as you can see, I have to hit this thing in the corners to make the soul his core shows up. Or else he's taking a bullet like state that I can't hit. But also when his pores are up, he actually struts away my DT. So use it immediately, if you don't want to lose at all. He has a right speed and all does a lot of damage, but he also feels in place. Damn, I didn't have to keep that time to kill him straight out. That's one of his most annoying attacks, actually. Come on, come on, we're close, we close, there we go. Another attack that we will see probably later is that when they're in the portal like space, they can actually eat you. And when they eat you, you have to fight another boss. This is mostly fine though. Since the boss has low health, and it gives you a full heal and it does damage to a nightmare. It does a lot of damage the first time you get eaten. I didn't mean to do that. I thought that was a blue or fragment, but I think we need air raid. We can't just sink in it. I also hate this platform. I much better just come on the water and shoot the enemies. that the underwater enemies are just normal human skulls. They're not even fish of any kind.
Okay, that's hard to read. The reading is gone. I can't read that. Sure. Probably something about the staff reacting to that. And here's the end of this mission. I can't believe we got to fight two bosses. And I believe in the next one, you'll be getting to final Nello Angelo. That's going to be exciting. Let me just see the mission's name. Yup, this is the one. Well done. I'll see you next time.